this camera crooked? Let me check. Maybe a little, who knows? Welcome to Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are taking a look at this late 30s Carson Robison guitar. Basically this guitar is a Kalamazoo KG-11. So it's essentially a Gibson made guitar from the 1930s. What else was going on in the 1930s? The Great Depression? <laughs> the rise of authoritarian regimes? Not a good time. Glad we got a nice guitar out of it. Otherwise, not a great time. It's got a nice vintage feeling V-shaped neck. Chunky, like I like it. It's kind of a squat looking little body. That's okay. I love seeing the wear on the back of the neck because that means that at some point this guitar was owned by someone who just played a lot of E chords. I would too if my guitar sounded like that when I played an E chord. There's not a ton of low end. Got a great little mid-range honk there. That's really where this guitar shines. And the high end is just crispy enough. What a sweet, what a sweet sounding guitar. That just really sounds nice. Neck's like stupidly straight. That means it's had a neck set because it's old. Just a great all-around guitar. It sounds good strung. It sounds good picked. It's a really good pick. But it sounds pretty good finger pick too. Yeah. If you were only gonna have one guitar, this would be a good one guitar to have. It's a Desert Island guitar. I mean, if it made it all the way here from the 1930s, surely you could make it through whatever you're gonna put it through. sounds good recorded you have to stick your head in front of it as if your head is a microphone or two microphones two microphones that are not wearing a hat yeah I think this guitar would record great whoa I got it caught in my pants you might have to duck something out a little at like 250 deal with that mid-range oh but it's so nice guitar shopping you should always bring someone with you to listen or somebody who plays guitar exactly like you so you can listen because this is just not an accurate representation of how the guitar sounds when I play it I think you gotta put the mic right here <laughs> in that little boxy here's here's really good too Put a can can in this and you got yourself a little Americana gigging machine. This is a great little guitar. I, you know, with the V-shaped neck though. It's like not the best for playing La Bamba specifically. It's probably great for other stuff, but just maybe not La Bamba. This guitar is awesome. It's a big part of why I like working here. You can get expensive collectible guitars anywhere. But something that's a little beat up, something that's more of a workhorse, not as collectible, so it's a great value, but it's just as old and it's built just as well. That's exactly what this guitar is. I give it five out of five Alan. Alan, 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 Alan. Here at Fanny's House Music, we also sell vintage clothing. These are pantry yellow wide leg pants. The last thing I need is yellow pants, but here we are. The waist of these pants is mere inches away from my bra, and the crotch is three miles long. And for all that to be the case, and for them to still be this roomy, is an odd experience. More like curtains than pants. It matches my new Respect shirt, though. I bet I look great. I bet I look great. I'm gonna go look in the mirror. I don't know, it's almost like this is a good outfit. Is this a good outfit? Jillian Jacqueline, would you wear this on stage? These two things? What if you have, wait, put my boots on too. I look like a bumblebee. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.